Where we are in time with our environmental crisis and our climate crisis, to be true to our mission, to be true to our commitment to reveal God's love through our service to all, and especially the poor and vulnerable, we're really required to address our environmental crisis. We know that healthcare writ large is responsible for eight and a half percent of greenhouse gas emissions in the United States. Because of our mission, Providence has made a significant recent commitment to become carbon negative by 2030. We would want to get to a point where we're addressing every bit of carbon or greenhouse gas emissions that we're responsible for. So that means to reduce all that we can through ultra efficiency, through renewable electricity, through substitutions for natural gas, through shifting our transportation uh, sector really internally and externally to electric. We realize that there's also a backlog of emissions. And so we want to do a little bit that we can by going into negative territory. In other words, addressing more emissions than we're putting out in a given year. That is a bold commitment that really responds to the signs of the time. So that goes back into our mission history as well, from the Sisters of Providence when they handed leadership of the health system to lay leaders. Providence has really listened to that and has made this strong commitment. And this comes up really nicely to what Pope Francis said when he wrote his incredible document in 2015, Laudato Si, his encyclical on the environment. He pointed out very clearly that we are at a point of an ecologic crisis. And he further said, we don't have a social crisis and an environmental crisis. We, we instead have one complex socio-environmental crisis, and that will be solved through the same mechanisms. So that makes it pretty clear to us in Catholic healthcare that we are in alignment with the needs of the world, so we're called to respond to that. We've developed a framework called WE ACT, and that stands for waste, energy water, agriculture, food, chemicals, and transportation. Those are really the big buckets of mitigation. So each of those have applications in our hospitals, our clinics, our educational facilities, university and high school, our spin-off businesses. We also are really committed to environmental justice. So we've developed a team of leaders that are working on how do we meet that place in our communities where pollution or the environmental determinants of health intersect with equity challenges, when it impacts people of color more, people living with poverty more, people who are unhoused, people LGBTQ. So we're analyzing that in the communities we serve so that we can be sure and orient ourselves toward preventing further harm that's happening now in our environmental crisis. Caring for the natural world and taking responsibility for our own pollution is an important part of our integrity in Providence. It's gonna take all of us working together and encouraging all of society to take part. This is why really we created the WE ACT framework. It doesn't mean someone else is doing it, it just means we. And it doesn't mean it's just gonna happen, it means we act. If we act together, then there's reason to be optimistic that we can turn this ship of our environmental crisis so that we can truly build our vision of health for a better world. <laughs>